Hello. We're the Dueling Owls. I'm Matthew. Hello, Autumn. And we are going to be trying some food that we found at a local world market. So, what do you want to do first? These? Sure. So these are uh, Lattes Koala March uh, Banana Cream Filled Cookies. Chocolate Banana Cream Filled Cookies. And it says on the top here, uh, story making game. Please open the lid to start the game. So. Where are they um, I don't know. Latte USA, product of Thailand. Making game. Let's make a story and share through this character. Ice cream koala. Whoa. See the bottom flip. It's very cute. Oh, so the uh, serving size on the package is actually right. It says here, serving size, one bag. And I was like, oh, well, they come in a box, so that's not right, but they come in a bag, in a box. So, shall we put the, uh, put the plate up here, so we don't get stuff all over this. <laughs> These are apparently, uh, Chocolate banana ah! cream filled. Cute more bead. Cute. Kind of like dusty feeling. Yes. Like they're dusted with something. Definitely smells like banana and chocolate. <laughs> yeah, that's actually kind of strong. Here we go. I'm just gonna take a bite. Yeah. Cookie. It is what it says. It is. Yeah. It's all right. What's a chocolate and banana cream filling? I bit yeah. his head off. Oh, why would you do that? No, he did. Oh, they have different ones. Yeah, they all have like different designs. One. He's in like a costume of some sort. Oh, he got a medal. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> Is this one surfing? Oh, it's surfing. Those, is, he not he even pocky? is he? They're fries. I think they're supposed to be fries of some sort. Still could be pocky. Could be pocky, considering it is from Thailand. Is someone meditating or something? Hmm. Mm. Or he's like waking up, or he's like yawning. Ah. Like tails. It's on three. I don't know what he's supposed to be. Hmm. Mm. On three. Uh, da -da -da. A clock? <laughs> oh, it's a it's a scale. Oh, okay. And love, oh, clap and love, everybody. Right. So it's uh, yeah. Not not terribly sweet, but no, not terribly. Um, chocolate and banana. I mean, it is, it is what it says it is, but it's nothing spectacular. Yeah. Nothing, nothing overly special. Okay. Give me that one. We'll chuck that somewhere. And bag the rest of them up and put them back in the bag. Then we have another flavor, which is just chocolate cream filled. So. Again, uh, with this message card, please open the mat uh, lid to store start the game. Who is this koala? You can see the identity on the bottom of the box and use it as a message card. <laughs> These are expired! Are they? No, 2019. 2019, not 2018. Sorry. Still waking up here. That much is apparent. So, again, 
in a bag, in a box. The bag has like little koala faces on it. Did the other one? There's nothing in the bottom of the Oh box. yeah, they do as well. Except they're in yellow, and these are in brown. So banana and chocolate. Yeah, there isn't. I don't understand that. <laughs> Maybe it's something that we're as a matter. Oh, there you go. You gotta open it. Bear with me. So this one says. For example, in summer, my love sweet or my favorite sweet is ice cream. What is this? Let's make it strange. Okay. Yeah. These ones do not want to open. Weekly. Hmm? Weekly. Ooh, smell the chocolate. Yeah, put, don't put as many as I did on the last one. Eh, again, same shapes, kind of. Again, weird triangle one. Oh, he's eating ice cream. He doesn't look like he's enjoying it, though. Probably got brain freeze. Oh, probably. Ooh, these smell really, they really smell strong of chocolate. Really, yeah. Hmm. More pronounced than this one, but. But not as good. Ooh, it's got like a little kick at the end. Oh, I think it's of... dark chocolate, that's why. Artificially flavored. that there too. I also bet that one's head off. I don't know why I always go for the head instead of for the like the bottom here, for the feet. He's dressed like a reindeer. He has little antlers. That's cute. You two are getting saved. What about can you message message on the bottom of that one? Feel free like a bird. Pilot like Koala. You can write a message there. Cut out and write by the permanent marker. <laughs> Cut out and write by the permanent marker. That's what it says. That is what it says, in fact. But still. So. Uh, let's see. They're okay. They're okay. What next? Whatever you want. And do something a bit more savory sugar. to take away the sugar. Beef summer sausage from Smoky Valley. This is from... Where is it from, actually? Wisconsin. I don't know if you can make that out. It says it right there. Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, here's a little seam I made. I know I'm wonderful at opening packages, but... Ay, ay, ay. Just cut into it! I swear if you cut your thumb off. Aw, but then we wouldn't have proof that I was doing something stupid. Holy cow. Okay. A little chunk of sausage there. I'm not trying again. I'm trying, like, a middle piece. And look sweet. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what it actually like, looks like inside the sausage. So. Shall we? Yep, it smells like summer sausage. Does it have a wrapping on it, or is it just sausage? I think it's just sausage. 
That's sausage wrapping. Mm-hmm. Very smoky. Yeah. Not, uh, not terribly tasty, but... <laughs> not a fan of that? Uh-uh. Well, no. it's okay. I don't know. It's definitely a wrapping. Mm-hmm. Um, Probably not supposed not, to ingest that, but yeah. not as good as a little bit late for that. Hickory forms, but meh. Are you saving okay. these or nah? <laughs> <laughs> Just toss them. Well, let's round off the uh, Wisconsin theme we apparently have here: Wisconsin cheddar. That's exactly what it says on the packet. Pasteurized cheese. The sticker. I didn't realize this was a sticker. I thought it was part of the package. Northwoods. Well, you cut on that. Northwoods Cheese Company. Mm -hmm. Wisconsin cheddar cheese, pasteurized processed cheese food. Distributed by Northwoods Cheese Company, LLC, Corona, Wisconsin. Other cheeses are available. Yeah. I'm massacring this cheese. Wanna help? Oh my gosh. Maybe you should be the one to open all the packages. I'll open boxes. You open <laughs> this stuff that's like shrink wrapped, apparently. That was oh, you're good. Oh. You're just a dork. I did get it. It's good. Good. Sure. Cut off like a slice big enough for me to taste it, but not. There we go. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Mm, smells like cheese. Tastes like cheddar cheese. Mm. It's like sharp cheddar. It's a bit of a bite to it, yeah. Sharp cheddar. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't buy it again. Yeah, no. No. Nah. I wouldn't buy it again, but... It, it was, was good. It was like, like if you were... Yeah. If you're a fan of sharp cheddar, then... Yeah, to go along with your beef. Your beef summer sausage. Make your own little trays. Next up, we have uh, creamy dark chocolate filled wafer cookie. Lady Walton's Gourmet Cookies. Um, where does it say? Manufactured in the USA. Dallas, Texas. Sweet. That's local. It's more so than the Wisconsin stuff is. Yeah. Whatever these are from again. What, uh, are you things? Michigan. Wonderful. Okay. Looks like a uh, street waffle. Serving size, one cookie. Thanks. Uh, don't the... <laughs> Where'd the part be tore off? Yeah. One package, 130 calories. Very low sodium. That's good. Well, yeah, it's a cookie. I'm just saying, man. Well, yeah, some, some cookies do have high sodium content, so uh, go ahead and... That's what it looks like. Ooh, it's very thin. Not very brittle, though, apparently. Oh, jeez. There. I'll take this little one. You couldn't tell I'm not a huge fan of sweets. Yeah, smells uh. like chocolate wafer cookie. I'm not gonna take a bite of it because I don't like uh, I don't yeah, like wafers. It's okay. It's like a wafer cookie, basically. Yeah, I'm very thin. Kind of like an ice cream cone. A uh, little bit of chocolate. <laughs> a no. little bit of chocolate. Not too, not too big of a fan of that, but. Hey, to each your own. Uh, let's see. Should we continue with cookies? Now let's do this. Haribo Mega Roulette. So these are kind of new to the States. I don't know about other places, but... Here's a few the, ones. Uh, 
Yeah, distributed by Haribo of America, Incorporated. Rosemont. Uh, made in Germany by Haribo GmbH and Co. Mm-hmm. Okay. Serving size, one roll. Wow. 170 calories. So in what, for like the regular size ones, like four of those put together, since that's like what this is? They, they, smell the, they sell the smaller ones. Oh, yeah, the super small ones, yeah. Yeah. I thought you meant, like, the regular package. No, dude. No, the <laughs> super-duper small ones. And this... If the wrapping reminds me... I don't know if you've ever seen these, but, like, um... Smarties. Yeah. Exactly. Eh, take this red one here. So they kind of stick oh, together. Oh, they're solid! But, I thought they had a yeah. hole. Oh, they're solid. They're like, um, flat gumdrops is what they remind me of when I see them. What? Huh. A little hard. What's the best before date on these? <laughs> A little chewy. The ones I've had before have not been like this. Warm gummy bears do this too, so. Mm. I don't know. It's, oh. it's not really warm in here, though. I mean, like room temperature ones oh. that, aren't, that aren't like chilled. I don't see Best Buy Day. Oh. 2019. Give me a red one. And I got a yellow one, so. You're okay as long as you get the, I guess, the correct sealed package, because really there's nothing to it. You know, it's just this. It wasn't in a different package at all, so if air gets in there or whatever. They will go stale, apparently. Yeah. As we have found out. Hmm. Those we might want to save. That actually. one's a little bit better. Did you the try red... one in the middle? No. Hmm. Try that one. Yeah, that's right. Oh, a little it's bit more gummy. softer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's better. Basically, they're just gummy bears in a circle. All there is to it. Black of a better term, yeah. Yeah. What's next? Maple sugar candies. Distributed by, what does that say? LB Mantle Treat. 1.2 ounces. Wonderful. Product of Canada. Well, I would sure hope it's a product of Canada. <laughs> I have a website you can go to. L B M A L B Maple Treat. Oh, thank you. I was trying to form words there. Grand B Q C Canada. Alrighty, let's try it. One serving per container. <laughs> serving size five U N, whatever that is. It has cellophane on it. Get, or it has sellotape rather. Yeah. I don't have like a, a scissors or anything to open these. No, I really didn't. Didn't really think that far ahead. Okay, see. Take that <laughs> out. Oh, there, there you go. <laughs> Obviously, the Canadian. <laughs> Stereotypical Canadian. They're hot. They're rock hard. Uh oh. Yeah, they're pretty hard. Like they're not... Oh. Well. Mine's hard. Too hard. Yeah, yours pretty hard. You might want to get one in the middle. <laughs> And apparently, these also did not get sealed. When is the best before date on this stuff? Did we I'm buy sure they're fine. Get things several weeks out of date? I doubt it. I'm sure it's all well and fine. Even though I couldn't see a date on there. No, right here. Good okay. for a year. This was made oh, in produced. March. Yeah, produced in March. Best of this March year. of next year. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So, there's a hole in the back. 
looks like a pock mark from when it uh, formed. Is that one? Yeah, a little bit. So, they don't like syrup. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Not sure Here if we we'll enjoy these. You you try it first. Does it taste of syrup at all? Does it taste of whoa? That's weird. Okay. So when you bite it, you get the cookie kind of, and it tastes good. Give me a piece. Like a sugar cookie, very well done sugar cookie, basically. But then you eat. Oh, crumbly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. So he's not a fan of that, but um, <laughs> not at all. I was saying, he, 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 very soft sugar cookie, and that's good. But then as you chew it, you get some of the sugar and the. Uh, maple syrup, but after you swallow it, it's like it leaves a trail of syrup on the back of your tongue. It's very <laughs> weird. It's like, so it has like a, an aftertaste to it. But they're not bad. Not bad. <laughs> if you like sweets. If you like sweets, yeah. Which for me, I'm not a huge fan of sweets. Shall we uh, introduce this next in? Sure cut to when it's finished. It's the trial pack of Twining's 100% pure black English breakfast tea. Four individual tea bags. Mm -hmm. I have all kinds of premium teas, instructions, um, steep time four minutes, strength is three leaves out of four, bright coppery red. Smooth Flavorful, robust. Tea from Kenya and Maui provides the briskness and coppery red color while Assam gives full body and flavor. Yep. Okay, so we're going to go steep this and we'll be right back. And we're back. So, this is what the uh, English breakfast tea looks like when it's done. Don't I'm not. It's not all that hot. Okay. So. Here we go. You're the tea expert here. <laughs> not really. A little bitter. Well, yeah, it's black tea. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's, um, uh, basically, like, what's well, unsweet, obviously. But strong. Stronger than what we get here in America, usually. This is like pure tea. Yeah. As opposed to like what we get. Yeah, watered down tea, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you get sweet tea for a package. And then, to go with that, we have some uh, tea cakes. Ooh. They're from Tunnocks. Tea cakes. Delicious biscuit base topped with a marshmallow and covered with real milk chocolate. So let's, uh, how do we open this? Oh, there it is. They're from Scotland. Good job! Milk, milk chocolate mellow. Now these I absolutely will not be trying because, uh, yeah, marshmallow. <laughs> you know as well as I do, they despise marshmallow. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> it just kind of... It ate the knife. <laughs> well, that's a marshmallow. They weren't kidding when I said topped with marshmallow. Okay. Here we go. Uh. It's a little sweet. The chocolate is sweet. But the marshmallow is not like what we have here in America. It's not very... 
I don't know. Like, oh, not sticky really, but gummy, kind of. Not gummy, no. It's like a lighter marshmallow. Um, even like the fluff we get in America is very not like this at all. This is actually very, very good. If they made peeps out of these, we would buy them. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, it's nothing like peeps whatsoever. <laughs> Which I guess that'd be the only only real comparison thing. that yeah, we know. Yeah, so far. Well, that's good. That's very good. Wow. I don't think you got down to the chocolate, though. That's like under it, like the the biscuit part. The biscuit part? Yeah, that part down there. It's right. There we go. Yeah, see? It's like cookie. Ah! Okay. It's what we would call a cookie. Um, it's like a graham cracker. Mm. Kind of crunch. Yeah, try it. Do it, dude, for science. Ah. <laughs> he dropped it. And it landed on my foot. Ah. Um. See what I mean? Very different. The marshmallows are very different. Or no. Oh. I still don't like it, but... No. Didn't much care for the cookie. I'm not a big fan of graham cracker, but... That's kind of what it tastes like to me. I like graham crackers. But I like... I like the top part here. I know. I'm strange. I like... I hate most sweets. Mm -hmm. But I like a few very specific things. Yep. So that's it for this time. Yeah, well, might be making another run in Soon. the future. <laughs> yeah. Soonish. This was good. If you have any ideas, leave them in the comments. Yep. So, uh -huh. see you later.